morning, good morning. I hope everyone finds these messages in good health and good wealth and good spirits. Hopefully everyone is keeping their head up and staying strong uh, in these trying times. This is going to be the channeled message for March 16th, 2022. Just having some chai tea. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump right into it. So in the beginning part of this channel, or really more towards the middle, um, I was, I had a pen in my hand and I was, uh, sort of shading this very smooth, uh, transitions of gradient. Okay. Now this is going to be significant for smooth transitions within truth for some of you, most of you, um, or at least the possibilities we'll say of smooth transitions within truth and within self, um, that are going to be made available to you, okay? So when we look at a pen um, as a medium, it's not necessarily the easiest to shade with by far. It would more likely go like graphite and then probably charcoal and then maybe pen. But usually whenever you're shading with a pen, you're, uh, you're not so much concentrated on pressure as you are the line work. So the way that I was doing this... Uh, transitional gradient while this channel was coming in was all with the same lines, the same downward motion of lines. And it was very effortless. Now this is, if, if you are an artist, if you, you know, work with pen or mediums at all, you'll know that that's not a simple way to get an even gradient with pen. And so this is significant of, um, number one, like the steps, like I said, normally it would go from like graphite to charcoal to pen. So, uh, it wouldn't be the easiest to start out with as this transition wouldn't seemingly be the easiest to start out with. And yet it will come through effortless if you allow it. Okay. What once was hard no longer will be. Okay. If you're on the right path and we'll get into that maybe some more later. Um, so that was significant. I wanted to mention that before I forgot. Um, there was a message that came through and I'm going to quote exactly what was said to me. Find the true Eastern star. They are all perversions. Now there was a big sign, uh, like, uh, emphasis on the word all. Okay. All capital letters, all. This is not going to be easy for a lot of people to hear. Uh, it is what it is. Find the true Eastern star. They are all perversions. Um, it was pretty apparent to me that all uh, have the meaning of all that you know, all that you've seen, um, all the ones surrounding you, all that you've met, all that you've read. Um, it was pretty clear all meant all, okay? That's going to be hard for a lot of people to swallow. It's going to be hard for a lot of people to hear. If you're not affiliated, don't worry about it. If you know somebody that's affiliated, this could be meant for you. If you are, you know, so on and so forth, take it as it resonates, but it's going to be hard for some people, a lot of people actually to accept. All right. Um, I would urge you to dive into that if you feel led to that specific message. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to insert this somewhere um, in the audio. I forgot to say um, that the octopus entities or entity is back. It's making itself known again. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, um, you've heard me talk about these entities or entity um, in two, 2017, a little bit, definitely in 2018 and 2019, in some readings, I spoke about it mm -hmm. at great lengths, actually. Um, and this was this sort of, um, uh, I, whoa, I don't know, I don't want to um, be offensive, but it's some form of an artificial intelligence that kind of has its nasty little tentacles in most, if not all, things within this construct. Interpret that however you will. I'm trying not to put a bunch of labels and I'm trying not to offend. However, this thing is back making itself known, even known on the grid. Take that as you will. Um, 
so be careful for that if this resonates cool if it doesn't cool be careful for that um, make sure that you're staying aware of what exactly you're connecting to what exactly you're praying to who is praying over you and what they are praying to over you uh, be very careful of things putting their tentacles metaphorically um, in you okay because again that energy is making itself known again and it's not the prettiest energy I will say that it's um it's very low level but for those that don't know any better they might even call it source so I'll leave that there love y'all I will say there are big changes coming okay stay confident and trust your intuition in these changes be very aware and stay in control of your emotions okay because that's going to have a huge impact on the choices that you make uh, there's going to be um, wins coming okay there's huge wins coming to blow things right out of your life and right into your path winds of change all you have to do basically is float with it, all right? Just let it blow you where it blows you, providing you're on the right path. But once again, this is going to be hard for some people because those illusions of power and those false support systems are mighty hard to give up, aren't they? Yeah, it's all good. You're ready when you're ready if you're ready. A lot of people won't be ready. Um, that being said, uh, it is getting a lot harder for people to stay behind and um, try to reason with the ones that they uh, used to be close with, are still close with, family members, spouses, friends, neighbors, things like that. It's getting a lot more taxing to try to be understanding um, and just explain and try to level and just I mean it's kind of like it's becoming very draining and it's coming to a point where you're just gonna have to move on and if they catch up they catch up and if they don't they don't I mean there's going to be a lot of things and people left behind in these current states of transition I'm just gonna say it that part up uh, I want to say like it won't be easy, but it actually will be because when you're ready, you're ready. So those of you that are saying, oh, it's just too hard. Gosh, this is tough. Well, then either um, it's not meant for you or you're just not ready. OK, because um, it will not be it will not be hard if it's supposed to happen, when it's supposed to happen, if you're truly ready, if you're truly where you're supposed to be, um, if you are on your path, if your heart is sincere, if you have, you know, the faith that you should have, the courage that you should have, the intuition that you should have, um, the being led by the correct things, you know, it just, it will not be hard. It just won't be. Okay. There is this state of reflection, okay, that a lot of people are in right now and and have been in. I will say they have been in this state of reflection, and I think that's what's making it so easy um, to kind of transition. It's not like this didn't happen overnight, this uh, sort of revelation, if you will. Uh, didn't happen overnight. This is something that I think many of us have slowly been coming to terms with, and so it's not it's not a big shocker, and um, we, we've kind of been in this place, okay? And this is for all things. This is, like I said, this is for relationships. This is for family, friends. This is also for your own health and well-being, your state of mind, your peace of mind, your own sanity, okay? Um, there is a message here to make sure that you are getting enough rest, that you are not overdoing it, that you're not um, burning yourself out that you're uh, going easy on your body when you should and going hard when you know you can okay uh make th there's there's a message here of like knowing your limits knowing your limits um knowing when it's time to rest knowing when it's time to grind okay make your choices very wisely okay that that's going to come with all of that these states of reflection um these states of like there's there's a lot of things coming up within us 
Um, I wouldn't necessarily say repressed because I feel like it really hasn't been repressed. Maybe you repress it to some capacity as other people may see it or be aware about it. But as far as it comes, it, as it relates to you, knowing this, I, I do not believe this is a repression by any means. I just think it's finally time to face it. Okay, that's how it's kind of coming through to me. There's a level of understanding here that's going to be had with yourself again if you allow it. And a lot of people won't. A lot of people are going to choose, as I said, to stay in those false sense of support systems and those false sense of securities and those false senses of power. You know, um, whatever people think that they're like all powerful and, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to leave if you were that powerful, don't you think? Anyways, so yeah, there's going to be, there's, there's some balance. Definitely trying its hardest to be restored here. Um, but, you know, as they say, we're our own worst enemy when it comes to being true to ourselves and doing sometimes what's, what, what's in our best nature. Um, because... Sometimes we don't want to let anybody down. Sometimes we don't want to be looked at as, you know, a certain type of way. There's, there's so many different reasons, but nonetheless, there's going to be, again, there's going to be releasing, there's the releasing. It's coming through as the releasing of people surrounding you, okay? So some of you may have kids growing up, getting out of the house. Uh, some of you may have been caught in these sort of like mental struggles of, you know, can I say this? Can I, can I say that? What if I say this? I wonder if they're thinking about me. I wonder, you know, if they're thinking, if they're there, if I said something, are they overthinking it? Am I overthinking it? Uh, or are they watching me? Are they looking at me? Um, like all of these things that are just going on, like within the home, possibly within the workplace. I wouldn't say so much in the workplace. I feel this feels like it's much closer to home. This feels like, um, Family, friends, neighbors, uh, maybe even someone on down the street, something like that, neighborhood even. Uh, but there is this sense of like just releasing it all, just letting it go, whatever it is. You know, if it's your kids leaving, then you got to let them grow up. If it's your neighbors, you know, acting some sort of way or you thinking like you don't want to do certain things because you think your neighbors will think of you a certain way. It just, this is time to just kind of give all of that up because it's a lot of, um, it's just a lot of reoccurring, uh, intrusive, negative thought patterns, at, which is throwing, I feel like, people into these sort of negative um, habits, okay? So the thought patterns are becoming physical habits is how it's coming into me. And it's, it's a very real challenge here of being caught up in these just vicious cycles. Okay. So it's like, we're at this spot where all of these things that have been there or have been an issue or have been a, a hurdle to overcome are presenting themselves again to see almost like if you'll take the bait, it's not like universe wants you to take the bait. It's more like this is your chance to break free and to be almost liberated is kind of how it wants to come through. There's also, um, for those of you in relationships or looking for relationships, either way, there's a message of expectations and reality here. Be realistic, okay? There's been a lot of healing going on. For some of you, there's still a lot more healing that needs to take place, okay? You haven't really gone. It's almost like the way it's been shown to me is like many people have gone through the motions, but they don't really mean it in their heart. It's like they're putting on a game face um, for the world, trying to like dupe themselves into something and it's just not necessary. It's just not necessary. Like, who are you here for? Who are you trying to fool? You know what I mean? Like, you don't, you don't owe anybody anything. And I think for some people, it may have started out as this sort of like fake it until you make it mentality, but it became toxic or it is becoming toxic. So make sure that you're actually going through the process of healing and restoration even before um, you're going forward, because I feel like 
if you're not truly where you like if okay so if you're showing the outside world that you're at a specific place in your life and with yourself that you're not truly at it's really setting you up for more delusions and illusions and even like weird unrealistic and unobtainable expectations okay for what you're looking for especially in the romantic sense okay um there does seem to be a sense of for some of you it's like the universe is really really trying to help push things in your path that would heal you and instead many people are trying to fill their cups somewhere else I would like to say that it doesn't feel intentional, but that's just not what I'm getting. Um, there's a real selfish energy that I'm stepping into right here. Of course, that's not going to be for everybody, but there is this really like selfish, yucky energy that I'm picking up currently. I don't know why, because it, it wasn't coming like it wasn't coming through like that in the initial channel, but now that I'm trying to translate it, um it's kind of coming through really yucky and really selfish and really look at me, look at me, pick me, pick me. Why are you looking at me? Well, I'm looking at you because you're, you're, you're presenting yourself. Like you want me to look at you. I don't know. It's really weird. Ooh, let's get off of that. Um, for those of you that are worried about money, it's understandable, but you do have a huge chance to come out of any financial issues, uh, that you've been having for many of you, you're going to receive, um, like unforeseen in a good way, unforeseen, um, money and or resources. There's some sort of a, almost like a deception that was, or a deception of the self. It could even be possibly like rebudgeting. There's something here that wasn't correct or harmonious in the way that it was being done. Not that the intention, the intention was good, but in the way that it was being done was disingenuous. Interesting. Or maybe the other way around for some of you. Anyway, I am seeing financial hardships for some of you, but I see that being restored. No issues. Uh, however, once again, it's all going to kind of go back to that smooth transitions within yourself and within your truth. And are you willing to change with the wind? Um, again, a lot of people are not going to be, some people are fighting it tooth and nail, and that's really unfortunate. It really is. They're showing me a water well, fresh water. So it could be, uh, some of you maybe just need more spring water or fresh water, um, some of you do need to be eating more fish or maybe you just need to fish. Um, but it could also be metaphorical. So it could also just mean, you know, when you're looking at water, you're looking at emotions and when you're looking at fresh, clear water pumped from the well, um, you're looking at sort of, you know, something much more natural, something untampered with. It hasn't, you know, hadn't been filtered or it hadn't gone through a, like a municipal this and that and pH tested and yada, yada. Um, so you're looking at like a purer, cleaner form of uh, emotions. And the fact that they're showing it to me being pumped from the well um, it's, it's flowing, right? And we talked about the, um, emotions that were not necessarily repressed, but that are finally being faced and dealt with. So I do feel if you allow this period to be a major cleansing time, it definitely can be. However, there are some people that are just going to be stuck in this old version of themselves, especially as it relates to the groups that they have formed, the organizations, um, the societies, the gangs, the fraternities, the, when it relates to all of that, I'm seeing a lot of people really, really get stuck in that false sense of connection. Um, it almost feels like people don't know what they are without it. And I've talked about this since November. You need to know who you are and you need to step up to the plate. If you are as powerful as you think you are, and as you out here telling everybody else that you are, 
Well, let's see it then. Let's see it then. Whew, I'm talking to somebody. I love y'all. I'm going to get out of here, and I will see y'all next time.